What's up guys? So this is going to be a product overview for a little tiny product from MagFed Addicts. Um, you can find them on Instagram or basically anywhere. Uh, I'll leave a link to this specific thing in the description below. But this is for the T15 guys out there. Um, barrel wobble is a real thing, sadly. Um, this is basically an alternative to the first strike barrel nut, but the only downside is this is made specifically for the first strike um, M-lock handguard. So you might be able to finagle this to make it work with some other handguards, but this product specifically is made to pair with this handguard. So let me take you to the webpage real quick. I'll show you what's going on over there and then I'll bring you in a little bit closer and show you this. So over here, this is their website. Um, you can go and check out everything. Again, I'll have this in the description below. Um, but this is it right here. And you've got two size options. Um, you can get it in 22 or 25 millimeters. Uh, and that is your barrel diameter. Um, if you don't know what it is, you try Googling it. Uh, he actually reached out to me on Instagram to confirm because uh, I wasn't sure either. Um, I went with the 25 just in case. I figured worst case I could just add a tiny little ring of electrical tape or something to fill in that space. Um, but the barrel that I had originally got this for was a First Strike Lapco rifled barrel, which those are pretty thick. Uh, and that was the 25 and that worked out perfectly. Uh, but he did reach out and confirm that. Um, I'll click through these so you can see specifically what this is. It's got one tiny little Allen key, uh, that you back out a little bit to lock it in place. Um, and then it kind of fills up that space. But again, you have two size options, 25 and 22, and they are incredibly cheap. So this is a better alternative to the barrel nut, I think. It's easier to use. Uh, something you have to be aware of, though, is the back of your barrel has to be small enough to fit into this hole. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So what I'm talking about is here. So this is in the front of your handguard. This slides through, which I've got the Allen key backed out right now, so I'm not going to push it through. But... Um, Something like this, which is what I'm using currently, has a smaller front than it does back. So if I wanted to get something like this that was small enough for up here, the barrel would not fit through the back, which this has a Lapco Freak back on it, so it's basically the same diameter as this other barrel, but the front, the hush, is smaller. So it would still help a little bit, but it wouldn't do exactly what it's supposed to do because the back is bigger than the front. I couldn't easily take this on and off, so something to be aware of. Um, let me first, so you could see the difference, let me put this in. Um, so you can see that is a pretty significant amount of wobble. Um, this was always something that drove me nuts. Um, <laughs> so I'll bring you in close and show you how to put this thing in. And, uh, then I will show you the difference. All right. So you'll see on this, there's one tiny Allen key. It's the only thing on here. And then there's a little bit of a lip, uh, around the edge of it so basically take tiny allen key make sure this is tightened to where it's flush on the outside basically just gonna slide this in take your allen key and loosen oh, rotate it on me um, get it where you want it and then basically just loosen that allen key out um, and that is going to be your lock. So now this won't come out. You can rotate it ever so slightly if you really try, but honestly, the spacing on this is perfect. This does not move at all. Um, and it honestly adds a kind of nice little capped look to these. Um, and then your barrel will just feed right through that. Um, 
lock in place and now there is no wiggle at all whatsoever because this is a perfect fit for this barrel it fits perfectly there's no wobble there's no nothing you can still take this out nice and easy no issues whatsoever all right so that's gonna do it for this um again it's a good product from magfed addicts if you would like to fix your barrel wobble in the front instead of the back with the uh, first strike barrel nut this is a super cheap solution if you use one of these hand guards um if you have any questions about it feel free to reach out to him i'm sure he'll answer you pretty quick he answered me with my questions um so that's gonna do it for that uh, I might do some of these types of videos for some other things as I come to them if I think they're useful for you guys, um, but that's going to do it for this one. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. The power of the dark side, side, side.